Don't let yourself be influenced by how fast social media is moving. Slow down. Move at your own pace. Savor the moment. Learn that accomplishing your goals doesn't have to be a heavy task. Romanticize every bit of it. Hey CEO gang, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new, welcome to the family. In today's video, we're going to be taking action. My last video was a video on vision boards and all my goals that I had for the year. And in this video, I'm starting to take action. So whether it be with content, with cooking and all of that, in my head, I have to start as early as possible in order to achieve all the goals on my vision board. So I'm going to take you guys with me as I start to take action for 2024 because I feel like this year should be a year of accomplishments so let's go this video is really a reminder that accomplishing your goals can be fun you can slow down you don't have to move extremely fast just because the world around you is pressuring you to accomplish so many things and working on your goals doesn't have to be lonely surround yourself with people that actually motivate you to work on your goals together and never forget to reward yourself See, another goal I had for this year is to cook more and it doesn't have to be a chore, it doesn't have to be a burden, you can make it fun, do it with someone who you love. Here I was cooking with my mom and it was also like a little bonding activity for us. And that's what I mean by romanticizing achieving your goals. You don't have to be like, okay, I need to do this now, that now. No, it doesn't have to be stressful. Make it fun. Turn your goals into activities and you won't even notice how much you're achieving because you're simply having fun while doing it. Okay, let's hop into the organization section of this video because in order to achieve your goals, you have to be organized. There's no way around it, but organization can be fun and I'm going to show you guys how. Number one is Notion. I do a weekly study board and I divide all my assignments by their courses and then I tell myself what I need to do, the details of what I need to do. There's also a progress column which tells me if it's to do, if it's already done. I have a priority column which tells me if it's urgent or if I don't need to do it now. I have a column for the due date and I also have a column for when I think is the best date to do the assignment. So basically, this is what it looks like. I know it kind of looks like there's a lot going on, but it's really simple. And one of the most important things on there is the color coordination because I also match up the colors on it with my agenda because having it on Notion is just not enough for me. So this is where my agenda comes in. In my agenda, I have everything that I need to do, whether it be like school or not school based and it's all color coordinated which matches with my notion then the third way in which i say organize is my daily to-do list notebook where i just write everything i need to do every day so that's how i say organize color coordination is extremely important because you can just match up and you know which color means what and yeah guys let me know if you want a video that goes more into details in this clip i was at the concordia library downtown I'm not usually a library girly i prefer like studying at home and stuff like that but i wanted to do something new you know get outside of my comfort zone plus studying outside of your usual spots improves productivity and makes it more fun hey guys so today i'm going for brunch with my friend elena i haven't seen her in almost a year if not a year plus some change like me and her got close when i just started going to vani college and we used to see each other like all through summer and everything but then like you know our lives just changed we still kept contact but we weren't seeing anymore as she wasn't going to Vani anymore. It wasn't summer anymore. Our work schedules clashed and all that. We just lost track of time. And now it's been a year and we haven't seen each other. But that's adult friendships for you. But since this video and this week has all been about actually doing stuff that's on my vision board and actually doing stuff for me and starting to accomplish goals early um i told myself today we have to make this happen because um even though it wasn't directly indicated on my vision board i do want to make time for myself outside of school outside of work outside of relationships and just spend time with friends and do fun stuff so today we're going for brunch and 
we're also completing a goal that's oriented on like taking care of myself and all that so self-care so i also want to learn how to do my makeup completely by myself this year so i bought a few materials because like guys i didn't own anything like lip liner mascara lip gloss that was your girl like i'm not a makeup girly never been a makeup girly but when i do go out i like to wear makeup you know i'm getting older it's good to know how to do your own makeup right like i can't be bothering my friends 24 7 shout out to them but yeah i want to learn how to do my own stuff that works with my face i want to learn the different things for different occasions and what better way to start than to just use the times that i'm going out to like test out stuff so i did my makeup last time by myself when i went to the greenhouse with my friend sabrina and now I'm about to do it again for brunch with Madame Elena. So yeah, stay tuned for that guys. I heard this girl on TikTok, like I be saving TikToks all the time. And I heard this girl on TikTok saying that you have to pat in your primer. I'm not sure if this applies to the type of primer that I have because the type of primer she used was not that it was more of the gel liquidy one i forgot what it's called i think it's from nars if i'm not mistaken but this one is thick man i think i have to rub this one in if not i'll learn with time honestly because i'm not gonna lie all the tutorials and all that they're useful but they're also stressful you know when you have too much of something it becomes stressful because it's like okay this one says that that one says this which one do i listen to you know i don't know if it's just me and my overthinking self but sometimes it gets to that point so a lot of the times i just tell myself you know what trial and error will do it and i will learn from my mistakes honey because too much tutorials too much how to do this how to do that don't do this do that it's overwhelming especially when you're a beginner so let's learn from our mistakes so my face is primed next step is the brows and guys i don't use like eyebrow gel i have this thing this from nyx is like a brow glue to fix your brows but it's brown i didn't even realize it was brown my eyebrows are not brown but anyway i don't really use it because it doesn't work that well because my eyebrows are kind of like thick i don't have like those little soft hairs on my eyebrows no so i use my regular edge control for my eyebrows and call me ghetto all you want but everybody does that like if you know you know anyway so i just brush my eyebrows upwards and then I run my finger over it to like pour les fixer là, pour que ça, you know so that it stays and I don't put too much because then when you put too much it will leave residue on your eyebrows so next step right guys we're going to go in with an eyebrow pencil and let me just say usually I use my mother's don't tell her I told you guys this but it's the truth but like usually I use a pencil pencil but now this is like I'm using a twistable one which I don't really like because it's darker than usual slightly brush it to fill in the brow which does not need much filling thankfully see like you can barely see what I did but that's how I want it like I'm not even trying to do no full face full beat because I can't do that and I'm not trying to go outside looking like a ghost like no next we're gonna go in with this concealer the multitasker concealer from Rimmel London this is it guys so yeah we're just gonna go in with this just a little tops just a little little bit nothing too crazy because as I said I don't want to look crazy but yeah guys just put a little bit here here yeah here yeah to lift the face up yeah on the chin 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 yeah on my nose and then on my mustache guys because i have a mustache so i'm supposed to meet my friend at the metro at 11 30 it's now 10 53 and i'm not even done like i'm dressed and everything but as you can see oh my days the brush was dirty mm -mm. bro why did this shit have to happen the thing is gonna dry on me man this is my problem with makeup this is why i always get upset and i'm like all right you know what forget you know what never mind that's what always happens to me and the most difficult thing for me guys is the blending like i always feel like i don't have the patience for it or maybe i don't have the right material 
or maybe I just need better techniques. So if you have recommendation for blending tools or techniques or whatever, please let your girl know. Cause yeah. So as you can see, the concealer is now barely visible. The plan is not to do too much because I'm not about to step out with a full beat face. I'm just trying to learn and play around a little bit, like do a little thing, you know? I just want to say something. My favorite step right now in makeup so far, even though like I have no <laughs> years of experience, is blush. I love blush. Fun fact, I used to like not like blush. I used to tell my friends, oh no, you can leave out the blush when they would do my makeup. Girl, like where are you going without blush? Like where? Now since I'm not doing no bronzer, all that, I'm just gonna apply some blush. And the blush that I'm using is the Fit Me by Maybelline in the shade, where is the name? Yeah, Berry. See, it's called Berry. I wanted to get into liquid blush, but when I went to buy all this new makeup material, so I called my friend Sabrina because she's a makeup artist, but she's like, you know, she's also a certified esthetician. So go follow her on Instagram, by the way, at Spella Beauty, because her services are amazing and she's so professional and support black businesses. But she told me that liquid blush is really pigmented and if I want to, you know, work into starting lightly, I should most likely start with powder and i was like you know what you gotta tell me twice i just listened to her because she knows best obviously because you see how she be beating her face like duh bro i used to be so scared of blush. i used to be like bro this shit looks like this shit looks crazy like i'm not no porcelain doll or is that how you guys say it in english because en français it's porcelain and do you know you know what kind of dolls i'm talking about like those dolls that if you drop it it breaks like china like the dolls that are made out of the same material that teacups are made of like china dolls that is that how you say it being multilingual sometimes is so complicated because it's like how do i say that in this language again and don't get me wrong being multilingual is also like an advantage because fun fact when i was in primary school in jamaica I didn't, like in fifth grade, I didn't know English all that well yet. Of course I knew how to speak English because we had English classes in Canada. And also my brother's dad is Jamaican, so I had to speak English. However, being in Jamaica made me realize that a lot of the French words that are like just simple day-to-day -day words are like big words in English. So I was like, ah. I will use them to my advantage. So I started using them in my essays and stuff like that. And girl, let me just tell you, I got a whole lot of awards in English language. For what? My knowledge of French. So yeah, learn a new language today. It might help you. The lip liner I used was um, NYX. Let me just show you guys, okay? I don't know the terms and all that yet. This is it, thank you. This is the powder that I use. Just gonna put a toops. Toops means a little bit, guys. You know, I tr I'm trying to like make my content have several languages because I speak English because I feel like it's the most general language that I know, and most of my followers and subscribers speak English. But I have to include French too. Like, I remember before my grandma passed, she was like, "Why don't you make content in Eng in French?" Like, I want to understand too. And despite not understanding understanding all the English, she would still watch my videos, right? But she was right. Like, I need to tap in on the fact that your girl knows several languages and my audience varies so yeah like i'm trying to mix a little bit of franglais like french english creole where it fits because you know your girl is also haitian and also patois because like i'm practically jamaican by adoption like these are not my words these are words that my fellow jamaican folks have told me so yeah and now a very important step mascara because like lashes are a must i'm trying to wear lashes less because they be tearing out my eyelashes and i have naturally long lashes so i'm not trying to destroy that in the name of artificial eyelashes no thank you babes and this is the thing i use this is like from the beauty supply store nothing crazy but it works amazing Oh la la, qui est cette jolie jeune femme? Mm. Je suis trop belle. There's beauty in growing older. Like, I'm discovering new things about myself. I'm discovering new features of mine, things that I like that I don't like. 
growing up is scary, but it's beautiful. Anyway. Did I? <laughs> I look like a glazed donut. <laughs> Did I put too much? The setting spray is a matte thing, but I find that it gives me a glow look anyway. Maybe it's because I put a lot. But yeah, this is the setting spray I use. So I'm done, girlies. What do we think? Do I look pretty? What do we think? Guys, I forgot something that's like make or break my edges. Good thing I took a few snaps and then I was like, ah, something's missing. And then I, I realized right away. Tu veux dire allo à mon vlog? Ok. Allo! <rire> Est-ce que je vais manger tout ça? Hey guys, so today I went and I dealt with some stuff for my driver's license because. It's been far too long that I've been postponing it and you know as I said earlier in this video I'm really trying to get on my ish I'm trying to stay on top of my game 2024 we're not playing games and why not start now why wait till like the end of the year we're like oh my god the year is ending I need to start accomplishing my goals right now because like this year I didn't do anything no we're starting off january strong and we're ending december strong as well yes guys so i'm also making this video as motivation for you guys because like sometimes it's hard to always be productive to be on top of your game and it's normal we're gonna have days where we're gonna slack off but the important thing is to get back up and to hold yourself accountable because getting your stuff done makes you proud and it just makes you move forward like don't we all want to move forward in life also, a tip I could give you guys is back in 2022 or 2023, I don't remember, I think it was 2022, yeah, I, I saw this thing on TikTok and I applied it to my life and guys, it honestly feels so good. What I want you guys to do, if you want, of course, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything, but you guys should invest in making an achievement jar. So take an old jar, if you're fancy, you could go to like Dollarama or walmart or whatever and get a cute little mason jar me personally i just got an empty jar from like my house and i wrote achievement jar or i wrote 2022 achievements on it and every time you do something good or anytime something positive happens to you or you achieve something during the year i just took a little paper and i wrote my achievement on it and the date i folded it up and i put it in the jar the goal is to when the year ends you read back all the achievements that you've had so you can like learn how to like tap yourself on the shoulder and be like oh my god i really did that like oh my god i had an amazing year full of achievements and stuff like that but it's also useful when you're having one of those down days where you feel like you're not going fast enough you're not accomplishing enough things when you're, you're feeling overwhelmed because oh you're seeing people on social media accomplishing so many things and you feel like oh you're a step behind or you know when you're feeling down just take up that jar and start reading the stuff that you've achieved like that really helps so in order to hold yourself accountable for like how productive you are or how dedicated you are towards your goals make an achievement jar if you don't like it in the jar form you could make a list i don't know i just feel like a jar is more convenient because you could put it on your desk on your bedside table whatever right but I mean well and I just want to share tips that be helping me out because like I remember sometimes when I post like ask me a question or what do you want to see on my YouTube on my Instagram sometimes you guys ask questions like how are you so organized how do you manage your time how did you gain the confidence to do this that that to be on YouTube and sometimes I look at you guys' questions and I'm like if only you knew like I'm not that organized but when I explain to people what I be doing, they be like, well, 
you are organized but to me like i just try my best to be on my p's and q's like, i have my little tips realistic tips at, at, at that that can help you guys you know what i mean so yeah agenda calendars all that here guys honestly it doesn't have anything to do with the video i just wanted to add this part because i just love mango so much so i just wanted to share that with you guys because look at it isn't it so beautiful anyway enjoy but this mango is too ah! it's too hard to do the thing i'm trying to do mango is my favorite fruit in the world mango grapes and cherries my three fave but mango is number one always number one always all the time but the mangoes in canada do not taste like the mangoes in jamaica like in in canada i've noticed no matter how ripe it is because this mango i just got it was red so no matter how ripe it is it's always hard and you could say, oh, it's because you kept it in the fridge. But even when I used to keep the mangoes in the fridge in Jamaica, they would never be hard. Like when you bite it, it just melts in your mouth and it's just juicy. But one thing I like about the mangoes in Canada is that they're not stringy. Like the ones in Jamaica, you have different types of mangoes, right? But there's one specific type in Jamaica that's called stringy mango. Oh my God, when you finish eating that, it's like you've been flossing with a mango. It's like, it's awful not all mangoes are like that like so there's other types of mangoes in jamaica that are less stringy but even when you're eating the less stringy ones like you end up with mango in your teeth and the mangoes in, in canada like that hasn't been happening to me so far but it's just it's, it doesn't hit the same that's why when i went to jamaica last year man i ate mangoes until i couldn't eat mangoes anymore and guys, after you do things like these, after you get outside of your comfort zone and you achieve so many things on your to-do list, do not forget to reward yourself. That's what makes the whole experience worth it. And that's how you romanticize achieving your goals. If you're always in grind mode, you're going to be taking your progress for granted sometimes. So take a break, buy yourself a coffee, buy yourself your favorite snack, go out once in a while and just live your life because yes you want to be successful yes you want to achieve a bunch of things but you also want to make memories you don't want to look back and be like damn all i did was work you know what i mean it's very important to take a moment for yourself in order to achieve even more because if you just work 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 a burnout is bound to happen